Hello, my name is Jelena Vujanovic. I'm 26 years old and I come from Serbia. However, I have been living in Greece for 24 years. Well, uh, the construction of my national identities, I can say that it's a long time process and started when I was a child. When I recall my memories, uh, I can recognize that my Serbian national identity was constructed mainly in my family, while the Greek one was constructed in educational system, my social life, and also uh, by influences of media. Both of them, I can say that Humphs somehow were under external pressures and uh, it was not my choices. Particularly, my Serbian identity uh, was built at home while I had to speak Serbian in order to recall and to be close to my origins. I had to celebrate national and Christian events and I had to learn everything about the history, about the culture, tradition of my country and of course I had to be proud of it. This was kind of practices that I had to do mainly for my parents in order to satisfy their nostalgic feelings, emotions for their country and to empower them to keep still uh, alive in a foreign country. At the same time, at the school, I had to defend my Greek nationality, even if in practice I don't have Greek citizenship. I had to participate in school. I changed my name from Serbian to Greek. I wanted to be part of the society and uh, I participate in all the practices that the Greek educational system used in order to uh, construct the or to form the Greek national identity. Many times as an adult I was in a position to defend both of these nationalities even if I really didn't want. Sometimes this was under external pressure that became in, at the end internal pressure. Uh, I really wish sometimes to don't have to choose between these two nationalities because I had the feeling that it's like I have one mother that born me and the other one that grow up me. So when I have to choose, it's impossible how you can choose between two mothers. I will wish to be nationless or at least to have one third nationality also. But mainly I would like my national identity to don't be the first thing that characterizes me. I would like first to express that I'm human, woman, youth, global citizen and then all the others. But in any case, I think that it's very important to express this feeling because young generation or second generation of migrants, at least in Greece, are facing this kind of conflicts and it's important to point out it. Hello, my name is Yanis Buza. I am 23 years old and I come from Albania, but I live in Greece since I was four years old. Uh, in Greek society, to be an Albanian or to hear the word Albania, it's uh, strange for the people and uh, they react in uh, strange ways. Uh, in my past, I have suffered from uh, the rages, especially in my childhood, but in the first period I didn't recognize the reason. After that, when I suppose that was because of my uh, nationality, I became uh, angry and sad. But I think uh, I met a lot of people and some of them were very nice and uh, nowadays they become my friend. Uh, I follow them and they follow me and the most important thing is that they love me because I am Jens first of all and not the Albanian guy. Uh, today I feel also the pressure but uh, it's uh, in the most uh, low way and uh, the reason is because I become more comfortable from, with myself and I understand uh, some things, for example, to be yourself and uh, to try your best 
uh, when uh, nobody uh, likes you because uh, your identity. Also, I want to say that I don't feel I represent Albania or Greece. I represent only myself, my actions and my opinions. Secondly, I think that uh, there is a big, big pressure from the both sides because they want to choose, let's say, a side to be a part. I don't like that and uh, I suffered because of that when people ask me what do you feel, uh, which country is the best for you. No, I think uh, no one country could be best for you if you don't uh, believe in yourself. And my answer always is I am human. Now I think that the most important it's to be a human and to try your best in this different kind of people uh, which uh, include the society. So my message for you all, for all the people who are suffering from my, uh, I'm sorry, for uh, the same situations with me, it's uh, to try your best, to believe in your ideas, in your dreams and to remember that to be, a dif to be different, it's not so bad. My name is Artur Ambarcumian, I come from Armenia and I am 26 years old. I have been living in Greece since I was 8 and as a result I have been caught in a permanent conflict uh, with my social circle, my family and myself with regards to my national identity. It took me a lot of time and courage to express myself uh, towards my Greek friends uh, because uh, I have uh, different opinions about subjects such as uh, nationalism or uh, migration. The most uh, difficult thing for me was to express my views by avoiding to be considered impartial towards immigrants while being an immigrant myself. Uh, usually when uh, we talk about immigrants and uh, refugees and so on, uh, I feel that uh, I am being isolated by my Greek friends. And uh, every now and then when uh, I feel that there is a racial discrimination that takes place. I also feel that my friends, people that I talk with them about my dreams, my anxieties and my uh, joys, uh, I feel sometimes that they, are, they stop from being my friends. Uh, this is uh, one of the hardest feelings for me because I've known them since I was a small children, child. In addition, uh, in the last uh, years in Greece, because of the politics, uh, I often confront uh, my parents because they believe that uh, there is no, no, if there isn't any future for us in today's Greece because of the politics, uh, the election and admission of the neo-Nazi party, Golden Dawn, in the Greek parliament, and of course the economic crisis, the situation seems to get uh, even more difficult. Plus, there is a small portion of the Greek society which blames immigrants for the economic situation of Greece and uh, this uh, creates a fertile ground for uh, nationalism and intolerance. And additionally, 
uh, it makes for me even harder to expel the confrontations and the conflicts between me and my family. And of course it's, uh, it adds more pressure on me, pressure that my parents put on me in order to leave the country where I grew up and where I dream about my future.